Welcome to the second video on Moses for me immortals. In the first part, we try, I tried to explain uh, what Moses for me immortals was all about and what you, you could do with it. Uh, now let's go to practical things. And of course, we must start with the installation. Uh, to install it, we first have to download it from the internet. To, down, to download it, uh, just uh, Google for Moses for Me Immortals. Choose the GitHub uh, website and click here to have the latest release. Here you have uh, two uh, uh, packages to download. One, Moses for Me Immortals itself, and uh, that runs on Ubuntu, and the other, the Windows add-ins that run on Windows. Let's uh, download them both. Uh, the Moses for Me Immortal script uh, download the tar uh, zipped file. Just select uh, where you want to download it. By default it will be to home downloads. And uh, uh, as you can see it will take about two minutes to download. <coughs> I am going to skip this part and uh, uh, we are now at the end of the downloading. <coughs> So, uh, now we are going to download the, the Windows uh, add-ins, although we are not going to, uh, to talk about them in, in this video. So we do the same thing, download it to home downloads. And uh, we have the two uh, zip files um, uh, in uh, there. So, to start the installation, you uh, click on create a new folder in desktop and uh, name it uh, uh, machine-translation. Please name it exactly, exactly like this and create it in this uh, uh, folder so that you can use uh, the um, defaults in all the scripts. Uh, later on, if you want, uh, you, can, uh, uh, you can create an installation of Moses in another location and for that to see the tutorial it's very easy to do but for now let's skip to the defaults so uh, just copy the the folder the zip folder and zip it by clicking on extract here and you have the extracted folder now this is very important please rename it uh, by deleting the name of the of uh, the version this folder has to be called Moses for Me Immortals so that uh, uh, um, everything uh, uh, works perfectly with the defaults that uh, are in the script. So this is the several uh, scripts that you have there. So to uh, summarize, uh, uh, this is what you have to do to download Moses for Me Immortals and please don't forget to rename this folder, otherwise nothing will work. So now let's run the installation script and this script you only have to uh, run it once um, uh, in a computer. If you want to do several installations of Moses for Me Immortals, for instance to have um, an English PT um, um, uh, installation and a French PT installation, uh, to be able afterwards to translate uh, uh, both uh, documents in both uh, language combination at the same time, you can have more than one. But this script you only have to use once. So you click on install and uh, the script uh, is displayed. If the script is displayed, it means that it is not uh, executable. Uh, so if this happens, if it doesn't happen, uh, you can uh, select display. If it happens, let's make it first an executable uh, 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 script. So you go to edit, preferences, and behavior. In executable text files, you select ask each time if it is not selected. If uh, uh, we click again on the, uh, the, the, f the file name, you see that there are four options now. It means that uh, it is uh, executable. If even so, it doesn't happen, please see the tutorial 
uh, for more explanations. So we are going to click on display again and these are, this, uh, are the scripts. So this is the install script, it is the smallest one. Uh, it has an introductory part, uh, a field, in this case it's only one that you can change. <coughs> in this case to, uh, to do the installation uh, in another location, we are going to use the default now. And uh, a second part which has the instructions and don't touch it unless you know what you are doing. So we are going to close it again uh, and uh, clicking again on install and this time selecting run in terminal just by clicking on it. Ubuntu will ask for the, uh, your administrator password and of course you have to have an administrator rights to be able to install any software in your computer. In uh, uh, Moses for me Immortals, in this version, you have version 1 of Moses, um, bec uh, which is now already in uh, uh, version 3. But at the time it was updated, version 1 was the most stable one. And uh, you really don't need version uh, 3 to do purely uh, a phrase-based uh, 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 machine translate uh, uh, systems. Uh, you would need version 3 if you wanted to do fa uh, factor training or um, syntax-based training, but those kinds of trainings are not possible with Moses for Me Immortal scripts. So if you want to do that, you will have to install Moses directly, and uh, uh, there you have more possibilities, but I warn you, it is really not for Me Immortals. So let's... Uh, now go to the next uh, uh, step. The next step now is to run the create script. Uh, this time we are going to do it uh, uh, in a slightly different uh, way. So, uh, this is the um, create script and we are going to run it uh, directly in the terminal. So, for that we click on scripts there, we uh, click on copy to copy the path. We copy, uh, we type cd, change directory in the terminal and go to uh, edit, paste file names and paste the file name. Do return and we are in the location of where the scripts are. So to uh, run any script, uh, you type dot slash and afterwards the first characters of uh, the script, the name of the script and you can uh, click on tab and it will fill in the rest of the name. It will ask again for the password, the administrator password, uh, and uh, uh, it will install uh, uh, Moses and all the packages it needs to work with. Uh, in uh, Moses for Me Immortals, in this version, you have Moses uh, version uh, number one, as I already said. So while the, the script uh, is running, let's uh, uh, have a closer look at the options. You have the first part uh, with introductory part with the explanations and afterwards you have uh, some uh, uh, settings that you can change. S here is the, the path where the Moses for Me Immortals installation is and here are some other options. So this path, uh, which is the default one, uh, don't change it, as I said, to, to run the demo with all the defaults. That second part, you never change. MMM, you never change uh, because uh, that uh, um, uh, is the structure of uh, the Moses for Me Immortal scripts. The same happens with Moses for Me Immortals. The, the path up to the end of machine translation you can change, but you have to change it in all the scripts if you do the installation in another location. Corporate train you don't change, and the cores you can uh, if you uh, don't uh, type anything it uh, will use all the cores of your computer. If uh, for some reason you want to be able to continue to do other things, 
and mostly you can uh, do other things but things that require some uh, uh, processing uh, um, capacity you can change uh, the number of the cores and uh, if you have eight cores for instance you can type six and it will only use six if you have four you can uh, have three or two cores but then uh, the training will be much much slower because four cores is not uh, much for the training depending on the size of the corpus of course the other the other uh, options don't change and uh, afterwards uh, uh, here you have uh, uh, the packages that uh, uh, Moses need to work uh, uh, to, 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 to train uh, um, engines. So don't change it. This here again you have that indication that uh, you should not touch the instructions themselves unless you know what you are doing. So once again, uh, this part of the path you can change if you do the installation in another location. Okay, so the script uh, is uh, running and let's have a look now at the logs and the reports. You click on machine translation, you go to the MMM subfolder and you have two folders, logs and reports. Uh, let's see the logs. You have uh, logs for uh, the main uh, uh, scripts so uh, the, you, we, ca we can have a look at the, the install log and as you can see um, uh, it uh, uh, has uh, the list of all the operations that uh, were done. The important thing is that the last message is that everything was installed and there is no error message. So this is the install uh, log you also have the reports and you have the install uh, report which is not uh, very impressive uh, there are others that uh, have more things so uh, the create uh, uh, you can also look at the other logs uh, which are more interesting the create log which is the operation that is running now uh, in the terminal and uh, as you can see um, it uh, uh, lists everything that uh, it is uh, doing so uh, if there is any problem in any of the operations this is a very very important file because it's here that you'll see the error messages so close without saving and now you can see that in the terminal the installation is finished it has the the dates and the time and it has the very important information that it was successful if there was an error message uh, you would need to see the log file it says where the log and the reports are and it was a success um, um, so thanks for watching uh, this uh, video uh, we um, uh, we hope you run the installation without any problems if you have uh, a look uh, uh, have a look at the, the tutorial where you have some information on uh, 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 possible problems uh, the next uh, the next uh, video will be about running the demo thanks